and roll, the first 5,000 years, which is our last show in the concert, uh, was a jukebox musical of sorts in 1982. It was quite ahead of its time, and yet it was also partially inspired by the success of Beatlemania, which had come before. The show is a roller coaster ride through over 60 songs. From Great Balls of Fire, to Proud Mary, to Good Vibrations, to Imagine, to Blowin' in the Wind, to Mrs. Robinson, to Both Sides Now, to You've Got a Friend, to Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Um, I would think, like, if I was on Family Guy, it would, like, zoom out and you would just come back and I would keep being more the songs. Uh, every, every corner of rock history that one could explore in less than three hours was delved into. David Bowie's Space Oddity was a production number. Aretha Franklin and John Lennon were conjured, and projections fe featuring history, current news, and and other visuals framed the production. Rock and Roll, the first 5,000 years, had a concept which featured rock oh, songs. Oh, that's the songs. Those are all oh, the songs. all of the songs. <laughs> Um, so, Rock and Roll the First 5,000 Years had a concept which featured rock songs through the years and it juxtaposed uh, projections of everything from ancient Rome to Columbus discovering America. And the creators wanted to say something about the way rock and roll articulated the human experience. Rock and Roll was given one of the most technically, technologically advanced projection and sound systems uh, ever seen on Broadway at the time. The show played the St. James and featured Barbara Walsh, Lilius White, Jennifer Lewis, among others. The New York Times review wasn't half bad and ended with, this is one rock musical rock fans will actually enjoy, and for theatergoers who haven't yet made peace with the electronic monster in their midst, it's the best introduction this side of the real thing. This was Broadway trying to evolve with popular music. Here to perform two of the songs she sang in her Broadway debut in rock and roll the first 5,000 years, the one, the only, Barbara Walsh. <laughs> There's so many songs, Jesus, I can't believe how long it anyway. Yeah, so I, this was my first Broadway show, and I um, went to an open call, cattle call, lovely, right? And um, I will never forget that day in the Velasco Theater, I was there the entire day, and uh, I finally got to do my routines, my, uh, my audition, which was... I'm not a rock singer, for God's sake, but I pulled out Cher. <laughs> when you meet a man, let you like and you fall in love. Yeah. And then I moved on to Joan Baez. May God bless and keep you always, and may wishes all come true. May you always do for the and let others do for you. For the young, for the young, may you stay forever young and grace slick. Yeah. Don't you want somebody to love? Don't you need somebody to love? You better find somebody to love. My first Broadway show, and I will be doing Forever Young, Joan Baez, and Grace Slick singing White Rabbit. Yes. Now, if you don't know White Rabbit, um, no, for, first I have to tell you that doing this show was really odd because it, it was not even equity, it was Agatha. What does that mean? Anyway, um, I, being, Variety artists. Oh, Thank you so much. <laughs> so glad I came here. Um, so, you know, used to musical theater and actors, this cast was a group of rock and roll artists. I mean, they, they, it was very interesting. And the second day of rehearsal, I, I introduced myself and I, hello, hello. And then there was this blonde, blonde young gal, and I said, Hi, I'm Barbara. And she goes, I'm Madonna. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm signing a recording contract with Columbia. Oh. <laughs> and I said, It's a song about a drug trip. Now, I've never done any drugs. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. Um, but, um, but, but, the, but the beauty of um, this show is that there were a lot of drug addicts in it. <laughs> I mean, the came on that because this guy 
Sean, um, he like almost OD. It was really something. And the gal who shared a dressing room with me, she was like snorting coke every night. I'm like, what is happening in my life? Anyway, so White Rabbit, Joe Layton was the director, and he cast, uh, he had three of us as Grace Slick, sort of the audience looking at Grace Slick in triplicate. And, um, but it was my voice that was used. And we were, we were uh, sitting atop these very tall ladders, looking exactly alike. And you know, I've never done any drugs, but given the state of the world in this country, I may have to take this trip. <laughs> One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. And the ones that mother gives you don't do anything at all. Go ask Alice when she's ten feet tall. And if you go chasing rabbits, and you know you're gonna fall. Chasing caterpillar has given you the call. 